We have no idea what's really meta, what's great in this game yet, formations-wise, tactics-wise, player-wise, that everyone's just saying shit on Twitter, on YouTube, and uh, either pumping, dumping investments, or just saying some bullshit to try and, like, give tips. But no, honestly, nobody really knows yet, and it's kind of affecting the game in multiple ways that we'll talk about today. Also, EA lied to us. Player of the Month Holland is here, and we'll talk about that also. That's kind of why I titled the video, Everyone's Lying to Us Right Now, because it's like, the amount of bad advice I've seen on Twitter, at least in my my personal experience that is bad advice has been ridiculous even on youtube too i've seen some great advice but obviously not as much as the bad and also the menus are horrible garbage trash they are i mean it's actually beyond unfinished what the menus are right now but okay second channel uploads begin tomorrow well today technically uh tomorrow for when i'm recording this we're gonna kind of just start the account see where we go we're gonna upload tons of gameplay videos on the channel i will talk about my tips i've learned so far on the second channel that have been helping me i'm getting kind of used to the game a little bit it's still very very, very challenging and very, very different. If you guys would like to buy coins, you can go to MMOXP.com. There will be a link in the description. They are the cheapest and safest option. You can use my code JFC at checkout for a 5% discount. Some of it is very close to last year and some of it is entirely different. So I'll get into that more in the second channel. And also let's address the elephant in the room here. I, uh, I failed, okay? I, I utterly, I disgracefully failed. This was a lie, though. If you did not tune into the stream at all, we had like 10,000 viewers unique, which was crazy. We peaked to like 400 viewers, I think. Uh, We did go like 13 hours and 50 minutes. The YouTube VOD only goes 12 hours, so you actually can't save anything more than 12 hours. We did go 13 hours, 50 minutes, almost 14 hours. I called it quits. I did not survive. I did fail, and bro realized he was not built for this. But I will say this. Black Friday comes. I believe Black Friday. I'm probably gonna do a 24-hour stream with packs and stuff like that i wanted to have something to do the entire stream because oh my god i actually could not take another 10 hours of division rivals i think i would have probably shattered every window in my house i don't know how i would have done it but thank you for being there with so much fun the support was amazing so i wanted to address that that uh yes i failed okay I, I i deserve punishment what should that punishment be uh you decide in the comment section that might be a really bad idea but i want to say thank you for being here thank you for the support in the stream okay starting off with the content right now as you guys ha have seen already player of the month holland came out today and ea told us specifically in an article they released we would not be getting an august player of the month premier league spc we, we wouldn't be getting it and then all of a sudden we now get it i don't know don't ask me if they changed their mind and then just told us that it'd be all right but it feels like they just tried to not have us invest in fodder so early because they knew it would probably rise when they released it erling holland and it did rise today with holland and it did yesterday with uh, alaba as well obviously that's some conspiracy theory stuff but if they don't communicate with us you know we're probably gonna assume the worst because what when is in it the worst really uh, and then there were questions about player of the month holland sbc right why are there two different segments here why are all these sbcs tied to an objective as well like the flashback upgrade complete this and then you go and get alaba in the objectives tab what what's the reason for that and my initial thought was that they wanted to get everybody on to play one game just to increase their numbers or games being played right that's kind of what i figured but then they drop erling holland today who then is also in objectives right and he doesn't require any games played uh so maybe that's not the reason I don't know what the reason is. I guess maybe the only thing I can think of is they wanted to give out more packs and make it more rewarding, I guess, for people. Because you do get more packs now because it's two different segments. You get two rare mega packs as well. They're both untradeable, but you do get some pretty decent packs as well. Maybe a time will eventually come here where they almost expire at different times. Or maybe the first four segments would expire in 29 days. The next four would expire in maybe 60, right? If they do that with like a really big SBC later down the line and they can maybe last longer, they could be out longer maybe. Like that's a way they could help us. Or it's some sort of weird psychological thing where wait, because you see two different groups, you think it's less expensive. Once again, conspiratorial. Is that a word? Conspiratorial? I then I just made that up out of my ass. But you know, uh, you wonder what these decisions are when they don't really clearly make sense. There's no communication with us. I don't know. Also talking about the market right now, we were wondering if we were going to see giant inflation, right? How expensive will this market be this year? Mbappe this year is 3.7 million coins right now. Well, what was he last year? Well, let's have a look. So on this day, if it was equivalent to this day last year, we'd be looking at what? So this Sunday, right? So he was sitting at 2.8 million. Ends up going up to 3.1 million. I think his peak was 3.4 or something. Yeah, 3.44 right there. Now, counting in, he also has better links this year. He's up a little bit because of that, probably from 2.8 mil to 3.7 mil right now, though, if you compare the exact day. So it is a little more expensive. Will it stay this way? Tough to say. But I would expect this market to stay a little bit more expensive. Um, people are earning more coins this year, I think. The discard prices on 
on packs are much higher. Now, obviously, because we're at the start of this game right now, these videos might be a little bit longer because there is a lot to talk about. So if you enjoyed the 10 minute aspect of it, probably end up being more like 20 minutes over the next few weeks, I would probably guess. But anyway, the biggest thing right now in terms of EAFC Twitter, right? These tweets are getting it's just an ungodly amount of views and engagements. Because nobody knows what the hell they're doing in this game right now. Everyone's trying to figure out what's the broken shit. Help me win games now. I can't take the gameplay. What's going on? There was about an hour stretch today where Poacher Plus, oh my god, every pro is using it. It's so broken. Go buy every Poacher Plus, Poacher Plus Plus player now. Oshwalo, the best 18k you can spend. Um, let's see. That surely isn't artificial at all. What, what, what's her price now? Oh, 26.25. Okay. Oh, uh, interesting. I mean, he wouldn't have any incentive to... to pump and dump ah oh, fuck yeah there's trading groups all over the place right and i i use poacher plus today i think it's fine pros were saying that they actually prefer advanced forward some of the pros were it was just basically hyping up anything they can to either just be first to find something or obviously have some investments in mind right like we got this tweet today this uh new trickster plus and trickster fake shot is actually extremely good i was using it earlier today with my doku card as well look at this fake shot you can do so this is very very good but also in the tweet you know it's the new meta with the market rise emoji doku feels like ronaldinho in his prime nobody feels like ronaldinho in his prime in this game i'll tell you that much but and then and Birdie called him out here saying that no, it's just woeful defending. You're trying to sell the Doku's you stocked up on. That's like, all right, he's probably true. But the point is right now, it's just the way of the game, way of FC. It's a whole new tactic system this year. Right now, we're still trying to figure out what's going on. Just be aware that people are not going to know for sure everything the best possible, everything right now. I always wait to do mine for a week or two because then we have a better idea of what's going on. Right now, two days in, figuring out this is the best thing in the game. Oh my God, it's so meta. You have to get this in your team right now. It's difficult unless it's absolutely mind-blowingly broken, right? So just be aware of that. Right now, we're all figuring things out still. I just realized the timer was up in the bottom corner the entire recording so far. I might be challenged in, in multiple areas. But anyway, we have the Road to the Knockout Team 1 right here. The, the full team leaked. We open it in the new tab, and then we zoom in a little bit. We saw a couple of these players like Bellingham and Doku, but some new players. Ollie Watkins in the team, and DeMarco, Otamendi, Benjamin Sesko, uh, Van de Beek, St. Max is in the team, which is cool. Turkey there as well. We also got women's cards being Diani and Claudia Pina, which are pretty good cards too. So it's going to be a pretty nice Road to the Knockout Team. Stats are just predictions, I believe, as of now. We do have the full team leaks. The upgrades work like this. We have the base launch card, plus one overall winning three games in the league obviously we have a new champions league format now next upgrade is a plus one overall and a roll plus plus the team scores over one goal in four plus matches uh a lot of pluses going on here don't be too confused and then the last one is plus one play style plus and another roll plus plus Finish top two in the league, which is, I think, not for a couple months, right? So we have a second play style plus coming in later. Okay, very similar to what we are used to seeing Road to the Knockouts be. We also have a new Evo Leak. It is a max 90 pace, 83 overall cam position evolution. There's Kudus is the example there. Uh, Yeah, there, apparently we're going to get a lot more Evos this year, remember? A lot of the ones so far have been very broad. You can upgrade so many different players. Uh, the majority of players lower than the rating you can upgrade, which is a very nice change. That so far seems like a very good change, so I'm happy with that and hopefully it continues this way as long as possible also there was a glitch going on earlier today i think this is still in the game i believe it's not been patched yet moments milestones made easy if you've not done the ultimate moments milestone yet it's very hard to do what you can do though is follow these steps here and you'll end up controlling both teams in moments so you can just easily do the moment stars in ultimate moments so follow these instructions it's very easy to do and you will be able to finish all the moments milestones if you have not done so yet if you're struggling with it and lastly before we get to the market stuff really is just rush rush is one of the most fun things i've added in a while in my opinion playing with friends on it is a a ton of fun it's not as fun if you're playing with randoms who literally can't play some people are just awful and they cannot pass they don't pass they're just terrible you'll lose by seven goals because you're just stuck with horrible teammates but if you play with friends play with competent people it is mad fun this should only get more fun as the year goes on too if they keep up rewarding the players who are playing it and right now i think they're doing a pretty good job of that you can get all the season points playing rush you can do evos playing rush you can do other certain objectives as well if they can keep making it so that you actually can earn some decent rewards playing rush it is going to be one of the better changes in my opinion one of the better things added to fifa in a long long time the game modes have been awful for years. I said for a long time, if they added one that was good, it would help them tenfold. And I think that that could happen this year. They might have struck gold with this, hopefully. But OK, let's talk about the market now. Right now is a very odd time because for one, we have a new market this year. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. You would expect it shouldn't be too much different, but a little different. Maybe many cards are extinct because they have not.
not updated price ranges yet in a long, long time. I would say a good quarter of the meta cards are extinct right now in terms of like the, the mid-tier meta. Yeza, Jolinton, Endrick, Nico Williams, uh, Loftus Cheek, Foden. I mean, there's so many extinct cards right now that I don't know what they're doing, honestly. Chuameni extinct, Declan Rice extinct, Udogi extinct, Correa extinct. There are so many, and I'm surprised by that. Also, it's gonna it sucks with trading because it's hard to gauge where that demand actually will be. Some cards are obviously too cheap. I think that uh, Chuameni was 10K. That card probably would have been more expensive. Like Nico Williams is 80K extinct. Is this card 80K? Maybe. I mean, I know Rapid Plus and 93 Pace is great, but 80K is questionable. So there's certain things that could kind of correct the market as these price ranges get updated. But in general, this is what we'll probably be looking at. You're looking at right now the, the lower tier meta. You probably want to be out of them as much as you could. Honestly, the really low meta, we're talking the Darwin Nunez is at 8,000, right? He's actually extinct, I believe, Darwin Nunez is. Or like Colo Muani, a card like even maybe Julian Alvarez as well, 38k for him. Kingsley Coman, 12.25. That lower tier meta is just going to fall really from here on out. I would be stunned if they keep rising. Last year, it was the day I'm recording this was the highest peak of these lower tier meta cards. The next tier of card being the Neymars, right? Being the Phil Foden's. Those ones are better buys right now. Those ones should maintain price for a little bit still. Those ones are going to last a little bit longer to me. Uh, most of us don't even have these cards anyway. Probably not even wondering about those. A card like Alexander Isaac is also that mid tier meta. I actually sold mine at 45k. I was like, I'm good taking that profit. I'm not expecting it to go up more. And he did. He's up to 50k right now. So could I have held on? I could have, but also at the same time, when they start going down, they go down half price. You don't want to be in on them at all when they start to drop because the panic just goes crazy when these lower tier cards start dropping. So be aware of that. And right now, the best buy to me cards you can actually buy that I think you can actually make coins on are the, the most expensive cards in the game and also the rarest cards. Icons are really good buys right now. If you can actually get uh, maybe a couple hundred K icon right now, I think they're great buys. They're super rare. I'm trying to think of one off the top of my head. Philip Lom. How much is Philip Lom going for? Philip Lom is 412. He's a little bit more than I was thinking. Uh, but Chabi Alonso. Chabi Alonso is 170. Long ball plus as well. He's actually gone up a little bit. Yeah, Chiba Sale last 24 hours, 127, right? So Fud GG is amazing. That shows you where he was at one point. If he drops a little bit lower today again, goes on to like 150 again, another great buy, right? Fud GG makes trading really easy with icons, especially these are very rare cards. They stay very stable in price. Those cards could actually be long-term profit right now. That's the ones I'm looking to buy. Don't uh, try to avoid the mid-tier meta as much as you can. Avoid the Dokus, okay? I'd even avoid cards like Griezmann, 80 pace, 114k. I know he's very good. Try to avoid him. Nico Williams, you try and avoid. Just save up to get like an Erling Holland, right? 360. I know it's a long ways away for most of you. I just want to keep your coins close to your chest right now. It's kind of my whole point of this entire market section, okay? And also Team of the Weeks. So I want to mention Team of the Weeks right now because Laminia Mall, uh, Squad Battles Rewards come out in not too long from now. That'll be one of the better times to actually buy Team of the Week cards. Laminia Mall, uh, Lino Messi, because we're not getting a rival rewards at all with this team of the week right they come out wednesday night and team of the week comes out on wednesday in my opinion you're actually looking at team of the week cards probably be to buy right about now and you're seeing this video i think i'd probably start looking at buying them if you wanted to buy one for your team they could also be long-term investments i think mess is already a little bit up right now yamal is too i like these cards as investments actually even for the long term so if you want one for your team save up for a yamal in form at right? 100k okay i'm not gonna read your comments today because i need to record my second video right now before i have to leave and i am going to leave very shortly apologize for that but thank you for being here i love you all